ladies and gentlemen, Nairobi is a beautiful place. Hey. Top notch, historical. If you go Google where Diana went, where Queen Elizabeth <laughs> was, was on, on, the crown came to Queen Elizabeth in, in Kenya. All the Nigerian artists know in Nairobi. But I want to ask Naomi, yes. what made, what was pivotal in your decision to go back to Africa? Because you go back and forth, yes. Yeah. But there's this move you did, this big move to Africa four years ago. Yeah. How did that come about? Hey, you know, I had graduated college. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I was always back and forth. Mm -hmm. We would go for summertime, we would come, come back. back. Mm -hmm. But one thing, I just, I love, I loved Kenya. Mm -hmm. I loved the culture. And it was so crazy. Yeah, like when I would go back, everybody was like trying to come to America. Did you notice that stuff? You get. You're like, you don't know what you got. Thank you. You have walking currency. Thank you. And everything. You're trying to wear Louis Vuitton and this right. Maasai is what, so, what people want hey, to buy. You know, oh, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Of this day, America's I know, I know. overrated. This, America's this, overrated. This, okay, you know. Everybody's trying to go back to Africa. But, 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 but not today. I had, I was, I was, <laughs> I was blessed okay. with the family to be able to go back to Kenya. Okay. Um, so my mom had, um, Started her natural juicing center there. Oh, nice. A natural Health, juicing healthy. center. All health, holistic. Hey, we mm. can get into that. But that's another story. That's another another day. day. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. um, so, yeah, I was going back. And then even when I got there, I was okay. doing... So now I was doing music. Okay. I was recording. But... You know, it was even ah, it was, women. I know it's not industry. easy. And talking about women in the industry, hey. as uh, uh, when I work with a lot of nonprofits in Seattle, they like me using the word like bipoc, like black indigenous people of color. They put everybody who's Indian, oh, black, African yeah. in there to make it inclusive. But I want to speak to you like an Afro queen. Uh, what are some of the challenges as an Afro performer, writer, producer that you went? through the hardship you went hey. through trying to establish yourself in the country you call a home where you thought hey. it's gonna be easier what was hard what was difficult it was actually the hardest there <laughs> let me start with that why why hey and i feel ah why it was a male dominant industry period you, djs we, promoters everybody's a man even if we argue it was a male dominant industry um, especially the people running like the production houses you get oh. and um, also like working with Calif that uh -huh. was that was great and mm -hmm. everything was I was run. always respected mm -hmm. and you know my uncle's like yeah. he don't play that so correct. you know they came correct cuff, 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 cuff. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and you know like my brother Jua Kali mm -hmm. hey, shout bad. out to Jua Kali you know, for no reason shout out <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. um, but you know back in the day it, it was like all these men wanted you to sleep with them. I'm gonna just oh, be real. Yeah. I'm gonna be real. And I so, a lot of honest. artists at this time, this period, this when Ali Kiba didn't know where to wear big jeans, or when hey. uh, when Diamond was still wearing the fedora. Hey. This period, uh, when when Zuchu was not available, when she was hey. in high school. This period, it was hard for women to be in the industry. And a lot of these women, most likely, if right now we could open the books, we'll sue a lot of these people back in the day for Bruh. what they did to them. Bruh. And How a lot did this, of these women what did you don't do? even speak out. How did you maneuver well, through this? Well, you know, I was also blessed with, like, a family, mm -hmm. like, Spike. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, you know, spike. like, even when I was going to the studio, Correct. I had, like, a bodyguard. Oh. <laughs> and it's not even like I, like I was popping like okay, that. It yeah. was, Naomi had a bodyguard because it, my uncle knows what happens to women. In okay. those places. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And, like, I was blessed enough for that. But also, like... Hey, they they just get screwed over. It's they bad. Screwed hey, it was it was not the place to be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it what you went through to, to try to sell. And art. then also, like being an American, mm -hmm. because I couldn't speak the language. They could circle I, around you in Swahili. Making, no, and yeah. also, like going there, uh -huh. I would just get screwed over. Oh, I say screwed over, screwed over. You yes. know, they like to charge people with accents. Twice the amount, twice. like you're, like you're paying F one so student twice tuition. Twice the oh, amount. Man. So I'm now, sorry. like uh, recording is twice the amount. Video is twice the amount. Hey, Everybody man. you're putting us vendors. Everybody twice the just wants, wants, wants Correct. to take. Mm -hmm. They didn't understand this thing of unity. Like let's work together. You I am get. trying to empower all of us. And that's the problem also with the Kenyan music industry. Oh, but shit. That, uh, well, that's we can that's talk a, about that. uh, we read another subject. Another, another Sunday. <laughs> Great. We'll save that for another day. But what are some of the beautiful things you enjoy? Some of the 
things that stood out for you as a, this creative, you're back in Africa, you're back in your natural habitat, this ecosystem, what did you do to your creativity? At the ecosystem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just okay. Um, You know what? It just felt good mm -hmm. being home. I'll say it that. felt good, like your It felt your good being home. Yeah. Like, you know, Shasho is home. Yes. You know, the family. Like There's something about them that keeps you grounded. It's just, that keeps me grounded. You know, I'm I am all around family. At the end of the day, I ride and die. We believe family. family is important. Okay. Family is good like you too. They come first. And exactly. they they just sometimes let you down. They can be annoying, but they are annoying people that God put in your life to love them despite to learn. Yeah. And <laughs> So, uh -huh. I, oh man, I don't know where to start. I can tell you the love, the okay. hate, the opposites, but Kenya was just, I mean, my mom was, was there. Was good, yeah. My mom so, moved. At least you had mom there you too, know, so it was good. It didn't feel like a goes, move. I go. Yeah, and it didn't feel like a move because now you have didn't. part family. It was Angie's home. here, mom is here, it was so it was home. good. And you know, I just love, you know, I love Kenya. What I do you, love Be honest, Kenya. do you love Kenya or you love Nando's? You love Wimpy. That's that is good. why you love Terrific Tuesdays. I that is why you went Kenya. back. You know, I, you know what, you know what? what? The main thing. Okay. I loved seeing the people on the billboard that looked like me. That was a struggle back in the day okay. here. It was hard to even have a face like okay. that. Okay. People I love represent seeing you. Representation is huge. You're placed there. It is huge. You're and claiming. Even, even. Let me tell you, like growing up here in. Washington, Washington, correct. Washington, Washington State. Predominantly white. Yeah. My parents put me in a private school. Okay. Predominantly white. white. Mm -hmm. I was one of, I think, four black people in my school. A, a private school. One of four in my class. That was hard. So now, mind you, it was... You know, the white girls that are slim. And you know, Naomi, we, in we, high we, school, I was thick. We, we were, I had curves. We had... Okay. Everything like African. Okay. If it's not curvy, we're not giving hey, you pizza. Come on. Go there with your flat screen. Why are you here confusing, <laughs> confusing the men? Go over there. If you have a, you if you have a, know. if you have a flat nyash, it's okay. You'll never be African. We'll never give you visa. Okay, continue. You. Okay, continue. So now, like, when I go, and that's why I call it home, because mm -hmm. I felt like I could be my true self. Mm -hmm. Like, even with my curves, my little flabby. Nobody, nobody. Little, made you feel that you're, you know, you're that you're you, you don't know. fit the description I was, of beautiful I was exactly because we're all beautiful like in kenya everybody is beautiful so you grew like, up and this in this, is before, yeah. before social media and all that you know and this institution growing up in this institution coming hey. from lakewood kenya hey. now you're watching all this new media this social media right now all these blurgers and what they see every day constantly from tiktok to 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 hey. facebook and instagram as a role model and a pioneer uh, of women from Africa, what's one advice you'd tell girls who used to be just like you? They may be in a private school in Washington, just like you were, who were in the same position, like, just like you were. They don't know Naomi was sitting in that chair that they are right now. What's the message you want to send to them tonight about black girl magic? Ooh, here today, I would say, be you. Mm -hmm. I would say be the most your be your own ah uh, hold on I would say mm -hmm. I would say be your authentic self. self okay okay and it will be hard at the end of the day it's it not will, easy it's not easy a lot of people push you to the side be your authentic self and you know what else I would tell them tell them you know what else I would tell them I mm -hmm. would tell them. Put the social media away. No comparison. Comparison no, will kill no, no, your no. spirit. Yes, it will. Mm -hmm. it, your self-esteem, mm -hmm. your everything. Correct. Put social media away. Like, even if it's young girls that mm -hmm. I'm talking to, mm -hmm. honestly, they shouldn't even have it. If we could prevent we it. Could. But we but can't. Also, like, limit. Yes. But because these people that are on social media, mm -hmm. let me tell you, Photoshop is a hell of a drug. And the apps now that they can add a hey, beard. Right I saw way. somebody. Clear your face. You see my pimples. Oh, you see what I'm saying? You see my pimples. This is natural life. Hey. <laughs> we are here. But We're you here. know. Thank and you. That's, and Thank that's, you for saying that. Hey. Because I know a lot of people right now. 
I, I try to start, I have my nonprofit called the Kicheko Foundation, uh, where I help people smile. Kicheko means like laugh factory. Oh, yeah. And I host shows in Seattle quite a bit. And I think one of the biggest setbacks is a lot of parents don't let their kids express themselves and be free and live their authentic selves with art, with music, with tech. Yeah. And you, coming from an African family, this is one of my last questions, because I want to ask you something. You came from an African family because I know your mom was like my show show. Hey, now you might You have to be. If you are not a lawyer, you well, homeless person. Okay, but doctor. now you're not being flogged. You're not in Africa. But how did you convince your parents that I am now an artist? I like I want to do what you want me to do. Yeah. But I also want to be true to myself. How was that for you? Woo. How was that conversation? Well, first off. I have a Kikuyu dad. <laughs> okay. okay. Still to this day. To this day. I think he expects me to go and be a doctor. Okay. But anyways, <laughs> expectations are Expect there. Expectations are okay. Yes. Anyways, let me say, one thing I was blessed with is a mother who believed in me. That's love. That's okay. A mother who believed, a Kikuyu mother who, who believed, believed in me. me. She stuck by hey. you. Hey. Hey. Through the thick and the thin. Like, my mom was a one person. If she, she... Through, with all her girls if you loved what you were doing then do that even at one point in time in college she uh -huh. was like like i was stressed oh. i was going through depression okay. eh. she was like naomi if you want to do music okay how about you just drop out and do it my dad mm -hmm. was like uh naomi's gonna get this degree first off oh. you know yeah they wanted you to meet the you the know. threshold the african yeah. threshold of success yes so i had a balance between the two parents because my dad was just no what what are yes. you bringing yeah. to the table Correct. let's go but i had a balance mm. and that's what i was blessed with but a lot of kenyan children are not blessed with that and they're not to parents who now that we are both parents, I have a daughter called Sienna. Shout out to Sienna for no hey, reason. Shout out to and Kenya. Shout out to Kenya for no reason. Hey. Uh, for reason. Mom is here. Yeah, okay. Mom is here. <laughs> Mom is here. Okay. Now that we are both parents, and uh, we are gonna be like our fathers and our mothers at one point. Yeah. What's one advice you wanna give to parents whose kid, whose kids are showing a little interest in art? Music, hey. creativity, produce musicals. Because I want us to take over this space. I want us to be at the yeah. pavilion. I wanted to go to uh, the musicals in LA. Yeah. I wanted to go to opera in New York. We belong yeah. here. Doctor in Nepal, I can sing. Okay. I can okay. I can sing. <laughs> I, can, I can dance. My neck be popping for no. My neck, my. I can't say my back and my neck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. He's killing me. Welcome to African Excellence Podcast. This Ask is that Naomi. Again. Ask again. The again. Let's again. do it again. Guys, yeah, you, well, I thought well. you were supposed to be calm. Anyway, guys, uh, for a girl yeah. who's uh, in a position like you, what's one thing... No, leave the girl alone. Let's talk to the parents. For the parents, like me and you are both parents, who are out there who have a creative son, creative yeah. daughter, or creative gender fluid, whichever one works in Washington, what is one message you want to tell these parents that you, as an artist, grew up to be an artist parent, why should they not be the first objection, the first setback, the first pushback, the first negative energy that this artist get to encounter before they meet the world? Why is it important that where you come from, there is love so it can, can sustain you. It can be supplementing the way gas is high for you to keep pushing the crap. Hey, hey. come on. Talk to me. Taking it to church. Take it to church. <laughs> Why? Talk to me. Why? For the parents. Yes. Let me tell you. At the end of the day, I feel like parents parents mm -hmm. are here on this earth to this is a child giving you given to you from God. We are only here to nurture them. To what their best selves. Not to change them Thank for you. us. Thank you. They're Not to change them. And okay, let me say this. Something about black, black children. I'll even say black children. Let's do black children. We are artists. Natural we are artists. Natural born artists. artists. That's it. We wrap it up. Three questions. And uh, I got to ask you one thing. That's out of, just, uh, I've said two questions. So the last one. What are the biggest Naomi pet peeves? This is a simple question. Like, so that people don't piss you off. Like me, I don't like people. I don't like people who eat without praying. If they choke, who's going to resuscitate them? I don't know. Like, well, well. like, 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 <laughs> I don't like people. 
this chick sat on the whole chick. Wait, are you serious? Remember that chick? I'm that chick wore a drumstick and she choked on it and it ended up looking like she had an Adam Rapper. And I was like, I don't give niggas mouth to mouth. Are you it was, it's a really hard thing. It was a really hard for me. So, are you serious? So, so you what know, are your like pet you? <laughs> Okay, I had a white, I had a white, I had a white boy. They he are came atheists. on a plane. There was a white, no, there was a white boy who came on a plane, and this motherfucker and the bathroom have a terrible uh, a domestic you. relationship. So in the in the bus in the on the plane, he was smelling like yesterday. Like oh. he took me back to Kibera Kibera. when I didn't want to go to Kibera. Hey. So those are pet peeves. But these are like things that people like when you work with people. What are some of the pet peeves you have? Just simple, like maybe you don't like them team being tardy. Yeah, I so know what a pet peeve know. is. I know. I'm cheeky. Okay. Let's go. Okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back again with our celebrity host, Naomi Womboy, Washington's own. Again, I repeat it again. Washington's own. Yo, let me tell y'all something. Dubai is hyping me up. Washington's own. <laughs> I'll say it one more time. Who he is. He All right. Is. We are about to get some magic from this lady right here. But let me go back to the questions. We're about to wrap this up. Thank you again for being here. Yeah. Your presence just changed the lights. But uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, Naomi, what are some of the things that you love and respect and are grateful for for your whole journey with motherhood? My journey? Wow. So broad. But. Okay. You know, first off, okay. let me start by saying this. Right. Um, I'm the mother of one. Her hey. name is Kenya. Shout out to Kenya. Hey. Uh -huh. Um, what do I love? Praise yourself. You're good. You know what? Mm -hmm. My baby has taught me patience. Mm -hmm. She has taught me patience, and that's a big thing for me. I'm a I'm a Taurus, y'all. I'm a, I'm a Shout bull. out to Taurus for no reason. Shout out to Taurus. <laughs> I'm a bull. Mm -hmm. But she's, yo, motherhood is a crazy journey. That's that's for sure. I wasn't ready to have my child mm -hmm. at the time I had her. And nobody is. Nobody we all are. We is. scared as hell. Mm -hmm. You know, but mm -hmm. you decide to. And I actually had the greatest pregnancy mm -hmm. that I can say I had in Kenya. Okay. You know, yes. after she was born. Mm -hmm. I had the nannies mm, in Kenya everybody to was help, there. Everything you was know. this warm. Uh. <laughs> but she she taught me that the world don't revolve around me. You know. You had to like you change know. your whole perspective. And about it's the not world. even that I I had to I had to work on changing. It's when she came. It's Clock. yo. You are taking care of another human being. She she don't care if you didn't sleep at all last night she don't care what you have to work on but at the end of the day you still got to get your work done and take care child you feel me wow hey wow. she has taught me so many things and i feel like she's humbled me she's humbled me as a person mm -hmm. and she's made me respect like other people other mothers other uh, parents especially other mothers yes hey even my mother wow you saw a different side of motherhood that you were blind to before yo and she honestly she taught me the meaning of love hey the love hey, that hey. the child has like i have a daughter her name is hey. sienna and the love that i felt from sienna there's a different purity of it because they don't really need anything from you. Yeah. They just show you that I love you with or without your defense. Unconditionally. Hey, unconditional is the word. And at the end of the day, you love them unconditionally. Conditionally. And I never knew what that was. You know, I had like little boyfriends like, back you know, in the them day. Guys like you date the, yeah. here and there. You know, like your first love yeah, you're in trying like to... high school or something. Yes. You thought that was love. It based was probably on probably toxic. Based on to Titanic. Yeah. This is the problem. <laughs> this is what fucked us most. Those movies of Hollywood yeah. lied to us. But you are here now. Yeah. Your daughter is showing something pure. This was different for you. Did it, it change anything? It, it changed everything. Mm -hmm. It changed everything. It changed me as a person. Before I had Kenya, mm -hmm. like, um, you know, I was in the music industry. Yes, yes, correct. I was, you know, on a regular day. We were out kicking it on the weekend. Let's do some. Drinking at the studio. Hey, doing it, it, was things. All, it was all about you. Hey, it was Wait, me. Waking up, sleeping, yeah. everybody pay attention to me. You now you have this child. And the child is now like it's me. But and then also when she was born, like my whole life changed. Mm -hmm. That that time she was born, I wanted to be the example for her. Cause at the end of the day, you as a parent, mm -hmm. you're the only example mm -hmm. 
for your child. Correct. It's not, it, yeah, the influence of TV and all it's of that. There, yes. But what they see every day constantly, hey, I started reading more. Ooh. I did gym every day. You started day. working out. I saw your Instagram. I was working. Yeah. Nine Yo. Snapback, baby, can you top that? Hey, Yo. ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, uh, know me, what's your Instagram handle though? Naomi One Boy W M A M B O E. Yeah, go follow her so you can see the fitness tips that she's been working on. You started working out. Hey. You started leaving healthy. You started encouraging people yes. to, who are like uh, having post pattern depression Ooh. and all that that was a I, I was really admiring your journey it this was, that was a beautiful it was thing big. and you know and the thing is i was blessed to not have postpartum depression yeah. i suffered from depression like back yeah, in the day course, i've yeah. talked about it many times Correct. but i was just it was amazing i was blessed enough to not have it yeah then but let me tell you something we can have another story about when i moved to seattle oh you yeah, know we will do that another time next post <laughs> another day but yeah. She literally changed my whole life. Yeah. I wanted to be whole okay. and to be an example for her because I don't want her going out there to find other examples from other people. Oh yes, I yes, did not yes. Want it, that. Is, it, it was not. It was not a good look. Nah. Yeah, and uh, also, uh, while you were in Kenya, even uh, after motherhood, one thing I really have been following and admiring about is your resilience with your craft. I have been resilient with my craft too, and the only people I'm attracted to is people who give me that juice back. Like, oh my gosh, she's still doing it. Yes. He's still doing it. Oh, oh, like where are we at? It. Let's go. And you still produce music even after the baby. One of your new projects involves a guy. Hey, I'm gonna shout him off for no boy. reason. Hey. Who is this guy? Hey, this guy. This guy. Big big. Big pin. Big kisumu. Big kisumu. Boss of bosses. Boss of bosses. Big kisumu. Well, well. Shout out to Big Pin for no reason. I love you, man. <laughs> When you met Big Pin, how was how was did you know Big Pin from back in the day or did you know Yo, Big Pin after? Like Big Pin was always like, you know, I was just like, who's Big Pin? Yeah. But we actually worked on uh the TV show on Ibru TV. He worked on Ibru the, too? the first time okay. I was on Ibru, uh -huh. like we did chit chat. Chit chat, yes. Hey, we did that uh -huh. and then we just kept in contact. It kept going, and yeah. He's just And you made a beautiful track together. Oh, the joint say. is called Remind me, what's the name of the joint? Yes. What's the name of the track? Yes. Yes. The song is called Yes? No. I gotta enjoy it. I gotta enjoy it. We gotta enjoy it. What's the name of the track? We're coming back. It's called Handle It. We had okay. an argument. Hey, with hey, this. Hey, That's hey. why keep I can't going, remember. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Well, no. Yo, this is a part of the this just is a say, of the interview. The track? Okay. The name of the track was Handle It. Handle It. Not to be can you handle hey, it? Hey, can you, can you, can you All right, get you it? Can't do it but yeah, I can't. Okay, my shoulders are stiff, <laughs> but uh, I have a hunchback. But yeah. this song, what went behind the creative process? Oh, uh, man. How did you, yeah, how was it? I had actually like linked up with Big Pin again. Mm -hmm. We were we were doing his podcast mm -hmm. called Big Pin Radius. Shout out to Make Big Pin sure Radius. Go, yeah, yeah. Interviewing people, and then Big Pin was like, "Yo, Nay, get back in the studio." Mm -hmm. You know, Phil, Main Switch, they were there. Yes, they were like, "Come on." Yo, we we recorded the track, mm -hmm. did recorded the video before I left for America. Yes. Hey, and it was uh, all. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't uh, checked out the video, it's on YouTube now. I think it dropped like three, four months ago, yeah. but three months to be accurate. Dope video. Go check out the lyrics, the vibe, yeah. your aesthetics on there. You know, okay. and we mama, got more to mama, come. Mama, your office. Uh, 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 you know what I'm did saying? you see that? You know did saying? you see that? You know what I'm I saw. I saw everything. It was everything popping. was good. Everything was good. <laughs> and I saw the verses. Even Big Pin's verse was dope too. Shout out to Big Pin. Uh, I met Big Pin a few years back. I don't know if I ever mentioned. He's an OG. That. Yeah, he's an OG. He's been making. Uh, I think the problem we suffer in East Africa is we don't create any Mount Rushmores for our legends we brush them under we get new people we treat people like underwear we throw we toss them away as soon as we get others we don't right. remember the people open doors uh when yes. big pin came to america uh they did a show here from the promoters french you my french language uh uh um big pin was an amazing uh producer yeah writer until today i still respect his hustle so shout out massive shout out to big pin massive shout out to the work you guys hey, did yeah. and uh, thank you again more for everybody <laughs> more to come shout out to everybody in kenya for our reason yeah. and uh, we're about to wrap this up i have one final question okay this should be easy don't surprise me <laughs> i'm not gonna surprise you <laughs> all right what's next because naomi's a you're a you're a faucet you know like i'm fereji like you have oh. different things you're doing yeah. and we don't know and predictability it kills hey, the people hey, 
Mm. The people want to know. Uh-huh. Where can we expect so that tomorrow we don't see with Elon Musk over there shooting videos <laughs> in space? What is next for Naomi one more? Hey, you know, you know what? Mm-hmm. I don't even know if I can answer that question properly. Break like, it down in the simplest way that you have heard. I'm that a you have boss. Digested. Okay. I'm a big boss. boss. I came here to do business, take over the family correct, business. Correct, that correct. is what I came to do. Yes. But mm-hmm. I will still continue to pursue music. Mm-hmm. All right. So look for it. But I'm going to come with a plan. Correct. One thing I didn't have in Kenya. Mm-hmm. I'm going to come with a plan. And yeah. guess what? Mm-hmm. Everything that I'm manifesting mm-hmm. is it going to unfold. Mm. Is going to unfold. In crazy I don't think ways. they're ready for me. They're ready. Let me tell you, ready. you they're ready because you know what? 2023, 2022, Ooh. God has placed something in you. We don't put lights under the bed, we don't put the stage yeah. inside the bunker. Yeah. We put it out there. Hey. And if your mission, if God's purpose with you, your journey, your Ambition, your purpose is to serve through music. Ooh. Let no man Come in on. this world Come on. tell you otherwise. Let me stop. But that's what I can do. I want you to do and it. I have I, I have, want you to push it. But listen to this. I have stepped back mm-hmm. and that's what people see on social media. Correct. What you see on social media, you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Ah, yes. That's all yes. I can say. Yes, because exactly. we work it. But, we work ladies and gentlemen, it. Naomi gave her time to incubate the masterpiece that she's having. And we are glad that she's here. Thank you again for being here. Thank you. Again, ladies and gentlemen, where can they follow you on social media? Hey, on Instagram, at Naomi Wamboy, W-A-M-B-O-E. Mm-hmm. Facebook, Twitter. Hey. Yes. Yeah. Our podcast is called the African Excellence Podcast. African Excellence. The only the excellent people from the Caribbean to Africa. We are going to Mexico. We are going to Tijuana. We are going to Haiti. We We are going to Jamaica. We are going to Kenya. We are going everywhere. If you're out there, please help me. Help you. Help you. I know everybody thinks I'm crazy on this one, but <laughs> Dubai is the crazy one. No, no. Help His me. energy is crazy. Help you. I love this. Okay. I love this. Yeah. Uh, I was really allergic to the camera before. I used to have like, I used to break out in hives. Okay. And today, now that you're here, Naomi, then hives are, back, are breaking out of my back. So yeah. I gotta, gotta scratch them. So guys, I'll come back after the scratch. Next episode. We'll More love, yo. Hey. Till next time. This is Naomi One Boy. Peace out.